Hey guys, it's Jules. Starting the video off a little bit differently today for the stitching along. Uh, it's Saturday morning and uh, we're up here in Estes Park, Colorado. My uh, aunt who married into the family, her family has had a cabin up here for almost 100 years that they actually built themselves. And because we live here in Colorado, we'll occasionally come up and help them out with opening the cabin for the summer, closing it up for the winter, and we're up here closing it up for the winter, which basically involves just shuttering the windows, um, putting up the old, uh, the old wooden shutters that honestly have been here for as long as the cabin has. But it's a gorgeous cabin. It's called the Rocky Erie, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, you can see behind me mountains and uh sorry guys i'm out of breath because we've been running around hoisting shutters and stuff uh that big peak right up here hopefully you can see it is um long's peak which is one of the largest uh elevations in the country the one of the biggest peaks is over 14,000 feet um no i've never been up there nor will i ever do it <laughs> i do not like doing that but uh, anyway, that's what we're doing this morning, and then uh, we're going to head back down, and then I'll be doing the, uh, the stitch along, so the stitch along will follow this. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in a sec. Hello, Floss Tube. I hope you like that little bit of a um, quick um, interlude. Well, it's an interlude, when it, or it's prelude, prelude to the video, um, just to uh, show you kind of what we were doing this morning. But uh, this is my uh, stitch along. I'm Jules, and I'm getting ready to uh, kind of work on this piece that I have here. If you hopefully you guys can see it, it's Prayer of Saint Francis by Lizzie Kate. It's pattern number one seventy eight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and read it in case you guys haven't heard me read it before. Um, I only did it once, so it says, um, "Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon." Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. So um, I saw this at a stitching shop here in Denver. Um a few, I don't know, earlier in the year and decided to stitch this for my mom. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Um, let me just, I need to open it so that I can look at the pattern. Um, I'm only going to be working on, uh, ironically, I'm going to be working on a color that I've had this whole time. I've told you guys before I was missing um, this color, which is more of a grapevine color. And uh, I actually got quite a bit done on that, and I'm, I've got so much done on that last week that I'm ready to jump ahead and do um, a cocoa instead. And so it's just weeks, weeks dye work. Wow, I, that is dark, isn't it? I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, it's weeks dye works. There we go. Hello, uh, cocoa. And so we're gonna be just honestly. I think we're just gonna be using that for now. Um, I sort of set it up so that I don't need to really be changing colors too much. Got my Stitch Vision, my magnifiers, uh, got my Orts as padding. So we, I talked about that in my last video, how I'm using it as padding for my nose. I just didn't, I forgot that they were called Orts. I love that name by the way. Orts. Alright, so once I get started here, Okay, let's see. Mm, to be loved, I think, is where we are at. Oh, if you guys want to see kind of where I'm at, you can see how far along I've gotten. I'm almost over to the end here. And um, actually, I think, well, right there, I think about would be the end. So I've gotten quite a lot done. This is going to be probably going to end up being a Christmas present for my mom. Uh, just because it's probably roughly going to be the time that this thing gets done. <laughs> All right, let me focus here for a second while I restart my my letters. Two, three. Let's see. As to be understand. To be loved. Two, three. 
three across. One, one, two, three, and that lines up with that part. And it does, so we're good to go. I always try and double check myself in one way or the other when I start stitching. Especially this piece. This piece has been a piece in which I have made a lot of little errors and have had to frog quite a bit. Whoa-oh. Speaking of frogging. Ooh, almost pulled that all the way through. Come here, little one. I'm going to do some weird things here, guys. I'm going to skip a stitch and go up a little bit. It makes sense to me that I want to trap, I want to, I want to get that piece of thread inside of this little area here so that I can tamp it down. Tamp it? Tamp it. There we go. All right, now it's, now it's secure. Now I got that part secure. All right, rock and roll. I feel like in the next month or so, I'm going to have some finishes that I'm going to be super happy about. Uh, this one, I'm like, wait a oh yeah, the B, the Queen Bee project, I think is going to get done in the next month. Worked a lot on that last night. I was really happy with it. All right, see, I've already lost my place again. <laughs> And there we go. All right, so that's the top part of this. Ooh. My husband is out running errands. We got up this morning pretty early. We left at about 7 to drive up to Estes Park. Um, this very old cabin has been in my aunt's family for... A long time uh, they her like great grandfather built this cabin in like 1917 or 1922 or something like that um, they built it by hand them themselves and um, have had that cabin in the family in their family for forever and I've been lucky enough that since I live out here I've been lucky enough to get to stay in it multiple times it's a very rustic cabin. It's um, it's definitely one that uh, you you can't stay in in the winter when it gets cold like it was today. Um, there's just no way you can stay there. There's 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 a little bit of heating, but it's more of just there's like one room that that kind of gets a little bit of heat, but it's not very good. Uh, there's not much in the way of insulation anywhere, and. Um, It's just one of those situations where it's just been a summer cabin for forever. Oh, it'd be great to like fix it up and make it a winter cabin, but I don't own it and I don't have the tons of money that it would take to get it um, and, and turn it into something that could be lived in year round, unfortunately. My husband and I both absolutely love this place, but... Um, there's going to come a point in the future where it's probably just going to get sold and um, somebody else will do something with it. But we went up there today and kind of put the big wooden shutters up and made sure that the flue was cold, closed in the um, for the chimney, that kind of, you know, those kinds of things when you were battening the hatches down for the winter. So it was a quick trip. Um, it was awesome in that... Uh, my um, husband's like best friends happened to be staying up in Estes, which they live, you know, they live 10 minutes away, but they were actually spending the weekend up in Estes and um, they were up there at the same time. So all the guys came over and helped us out with the, uh, with the placing the shutters. The first two thirds of closing the cabin down is actually, not bad at all, but it's that last little bit where the these are very heavy wooden shutters that get put up over the windows and 
So they were there to help us out and get everything done. It was just, I mean, honestly, they probably saved us like an hour's worth of work. So that was awesome. All right. But the crazy thing was, is when we got home, or not go home, when we were leaving, it happens to be a big um, festival weekend up there for some reason. I, I don't know what festival is on. Um, there's always something going on in Estes. And, uh, so as we were coming back, the traffic was just crazy. I think we were driving, we were, we left at about quarter after 11. And as we were coming back, it was just, the traffic was just ridiculous. I'm just, it's one of those places where there's actually so few routes up into Estes Park from, say, the Denver area that they get clogged very easily. And clogged they were. But we got back down. And then we did, I was like, the traffic wasn't great in Denver either. And we live on the south side, so we were having to go all the way through. And my husband was like, you know, we can do the little toll road around and get home a lot faster. And I was like, yeah, but I really wanted to have lunch at JB's Fish and Chips today. And JB's is like a, is it JB's or GB's? One of those. Um, it's a little fish and chip shop. Uh, it's a franchise here in Denver and it, I don't know, it may be elsewhere too. I had never heard of it before. I saw it here, and honestly, I only heard of it like a month ago. I just, I don't know why I'm not paying attention. I love fish and chips, and um, as authentic as you can get, that's what I would go for. And um, you see how that's coming in? That's coming in very nicely. And uh, so I really just wanted to go there. I got it all knotted up here. I really just wanted to go there for lunch, so I was willing to sit in traffic for a while in order to go there because um, it's a very overcast day again and it's just perfect for having that kind of a meal and so uh, we went over there and aside from the fish and chips which honestly I could do without the chips the french fries are good but I go there for the fish and I go there for the um, I'm, I'm going to pronounce this wrong I want to say it's a pasty um, a chicken curry pasty or maybe a pasty um, I'd love to have somebody from England um, oh gosh I can't remember your name but you're from Devon if you can phonetically spell out how to how to say pasty or pasty if you're watching that would be awesome um, Shelly is it Shelly uh, you always know you always say Shelly I think it's Shelly from Devon and if I got that wrong I'm very sorry um, but let's see let me make sure my I'm doing an E on this loved, and the E's, when you first put them together, don't ever look right. And I make more mistakes on getting the E right. Okay, I think I actually got it right this time. And um, it's, all it is, is just, it's almost like a chicken pot pie in a sense, but it's just, it, imagine like a calzone with um, really thick bread that's folded up on the ends, uh, and then it's filled with um, a little bit of, uh, chicken, obviously, and, um, like peas and, or not corn, peas and, um, carrots and a little bit of gravy and whatnot. It's all packed in there and it's baked and it's so tasty. Um, and it's served with this, uh, sweet curry, this sweet green curry sauce. And, uh, oh man, I've been craving that. I think I might even have mentioned that either if I didn't mention it in an earlier video it's only because I was sitting here cross stitching, thinking about it, and I, I thought I did it during a video, but, um, oh man, I've been craving that for a while, and so, and then of course we had the fish, and we had the tilapia today, so that was good, and uh, perfection. Uh, let's see here. Don't work on the D of the love. So we did that, and then we came home. And then my husband still has a few more errands to run. Um, he's got to pick up a few little odds and ends so that he can go and visit the bees tomorrow. 
these are doing quite well. Well, we think they're doing quite well after we stole their all their hard work for the for the year, all that honey. We got to go back and and get them prepared for the winter. And one of the things that um, we will do is apply a treatment um, in the hives for a specific kind of mite that has been very rampant in in the country period um but it has seen a, an uptick in in issues here in Colorado but um it's a very bad little mite that basically what it'll do is it'll get into the hive and it'll kind of burrow into um where the the babies are laying eggs and things like that it basically just kills a hive it it'll kill a hive pretty quickly and um we've you know you we always you know we recommend treating every year for it and what we're going to do is um we treat after the honey is out of the hive because the what we're going to be doing is more of a of a dusting that we're going to be putting on everywhere and that particular dusting of stuff actually ends up staying around for like a month but you don't want those uh chemicals and whatnot in the honey that we would actually you know eat so because of that we do it after we get our honey but we've had a hard time we wanted to actually uh treat the day after can you hear the dogs i think my husband might be home i had to keep the dogs up uh, while my husband was gone because if they start barking downstairs i'd have to get up and interrupt the video and then it would just be a, a royal pain well for me not for hopefully not for you and the dogs would certainly love me, but they can handle hanging out for a little bit longer. They're in their kennels right now, so they can hang out a little bit longer. Okay, I wanted to get this done. It's about 3 o'clock on Saturday, 2 or 3 o'clock. I wanted to get it done earlier, but we didn't get home till you know, re you know now, so that's why it's a little bit later, but no worries. Let's see. i got to count again. Hold on. Counting is hard. One, two, three. That lines up with that. And that lines up with that. Perfection. All right. So, but uh, I do want to watch some football today, specifically uh, Georgia, Florida. Um, college football game. I am a Georgia grad, so I gonna root for Georgia and I am recording the game right now. But because of all of the multitude of commercials, um I figured it would be much more efficient use of my time to do this stitch along first and then I can work on editing and uploading it while I'm watching the game, and then honestly, I'm after I finish with this piece today, I want to say I think I'm going to do Apothecary Shop. Either Apothecary Shop or Old World Map 2. Whoops, here we go. I really can't. I used to do this kind of piece without using my stitch vision, but honest gosh, I mean, nowadays I just can't. My eyes are like fading. They're fading fast. Um, that's not where that goes. That goes there. There we go. I'll get it. I'll get it. There. But, um, so I'll finish this, go do that, and probably, um, do a little bit of apothecary shop tonight. And then <clears throat> tomorrow morning, definitely going out, uh, watching football. I haven't been out to watch football since week one, and it's week four this week, I think just managed not to, to do that so go back and watch that it'll be fun this is actually like that let's make sure that this is good cool let's just put this there get kind of oh no I lost my thread Starting that's 
when that, that starts to happen, I know I'm getting close to being done with this particular thing of floss here. I wonder if it's raining. It just sounds like it's either the wind's blowing or it's raining. The weather has been so cool. And cool in every sense of the word this past week, week and a half. We'll see. Gosh, I mean, because you guys are watching me do this or you're listening to me do this, I have so far I've done pretty well. Usually I'm, I'm much more messy in terms of getting it done or making mistakes, I should say. But I got a lot of stitching done on Thursday after I got my video. Up, well, the video got uploaded Wednesday night, which means that I could start off first thing in the morning on Thursday and start, I was stitching by like, I had some appointments, but I was home by like 9.30, I think, and that was awesome. Love as, I could go ahead and pinch this off back here, or whatever you call it. I never know the proper terms for things, so just make it up as I go. Nice, so I just did the loved as. That's awesome. I went ahead and pulled out a bunch of other things, other, you know, things of floss so that I could just jump right into it without having to sit there and and uh, pull everything apart and try to get it all done. Okay. All right. So I'm trying, I'm just looking to see what I need to do. Okay, I'm going to come up here because I'm going to do the last little bit of the cocoa here and then I'm going to actually come down and there is the word two right here and then I'm, I'm probably going to tie it off at that point because I'd have to move this but I want to, I need to come back and do this down here. So I'm just going to, I'm getting this done a little faster than I thought I was going to. Uh, let's see, console. Make sure that I do this right. Hmm, it doesn't pull up. But it is right, okay. I'll double check that in a minute here. Where am I at? Console E. Make sure it looks good. Triple check, quadruple check. What is that? That's a piece of grapevine that hasn't been cut off. No worries, no worries. Well, I gotta tell you, that having that orts right here, I mean, I swear that really makes this thing feel totally fine. It's kind of silly. Kind of silly. Mother is the necessity of invention. Anyway, I was saying I got a lot of stitching done on Thursday, and I did. I got like a ton done on Rainy Waterloo. Wa blah, 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 easy for me to say, Rainy Waterloo place, and I also got a lot done on the football piece. Although I want to definitely want to get more done on both of these, and then I got a chunk done on the B piece last night, and then I'm getting this done today, and this is all just awesome, making progress. Like the feeling of making progress. Feels progressive. Alright, and then I'm going to jump there. <laughs> and my husband's home. If you just heard him yelling at the dogs. It's a necessary evil. Because they're crazy. My husband has the patience of Job with those guys. He really does, because they are crazy.
I was watching um, uh, Trisha's uh, Stitch Along um, at um, Three Owls. Uh, I know I didn't get that 100% right. Again, I don't remember the names for things, but um, I was watching her Stitch Along last night. She was doing that 20, uh, 20, 20 random things or whatever. And I haven't, you know, I'm not, I'm not a... Um, follow the pack and do what everybody else is doing. That that seems like it's a bit of fun. I could come up with 20 really crazy things. Maybe. We'll see how many really crazy things there can be. But, um, I don't know. If I feel like I can do a good job with it or do any kind of a job with it, then if I can come up with 20 things, then I'll... Maybe next week I'll do it. thought about doing it this week, but I was like, ah, oh, she just did hers. That's a lot to absorb. Well, I really made a mess out of this one, didn't I? Good gracious. Come on now. Let me know you don't want to be like that. Let me know you want to be put down in this pattern. Nice and gently. Come on now. Come on. I'm going to have to cut this. Is this going to be one of those I can't do right? I can't do deadly do right? I think so. I think I did it. I think I should have probably used some thread heaven. But I don't have any up here because I left it all downstairs. If the dogs haven't eaten it. The dogs like waxy things. Any chapstick of any kind that gets left down there, they just totally demolish well, anything that they think that they could probably ingest gets totally demolished. That's just that's just how they are. I love them still. Okay. So I'm getting to the point where I think I'm going to um, finish. Because I just cut that off, I'm not going to be able to bring that down. I'm going to have to try something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to pause the video uh, because I can only take so much of a video at one time on my camera. So I'm going to pause it. But I'm not going to move. I'm just going to come right back and keep working on this. So I'll be right back, guys. Part du or tres? Wait, trois. Um, and I can't do different languages, I suppose. Um, anyway, I probably don't even need to tell you guys. I'm like switching from one little piece of video to the next. Cause I could do it so stealthily. You guys don't even know that it's happening. And you'd be like, wait, what? What happened? What's going on? Did you just do that? You crazy. All right. One, two, three. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that didn't quite work out. Okay, hold on. It has to be one, two, three. Ah, I see, I see. I need to leave three squares. So I need to count down four. Ha! Ah. Da 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 da! Um, that's not my price is right when I started that. Oh, great. Now the theme's in my head. I have a really bad problem. I have this radio station. Did you guys ever see that movie Inside Out? I know this sounds random, but if you ever saw the movie Inside Out, it's an animated movie by Pixar, I think. And it's all about, like, the thoughts that go on inside the head of a, just an almost teenage girl. And the contrasting, you know, if you had, like, an actual, like, entity within you that controlled your anger, controlled your sadness, and that they acted out when they felt like it was their time to do something, you know, that's 
sort of what was going on. Anyway, the movie's awesome. It was, I mean, especially for anybody who has kids, I thought it was a fantastic um, movie for kids to watch just so they could understand sort of how to, how, what, you know, sort of what their emotions are and that you actually can control them at times, hopefully at all times. But, um, the thing in the movie that made me laugh the most was when they're running around inside this kid's brain, they come across this little section that was like, uh, memory, the memory banks or whatever. And there was, um, there's like a, it's almost like a tape, like a big, huge tape deck or, or big, huge file thing. And then when they, you know, they decide that, you know, oh yeah, they run down there and like, oh yeah, play this, play this tape again. So like when a thought or a memory goes through your head, they, 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 they grab it off of the wall and they stick it in and then, it, then you relive it. And then, but one of the other things that, that the peop, the entities that control the memory bank, banks like to do is every once in a while is put in a song that you can't get out of your head. They're like, we want to hear this song again. So they go in and they push it in. So then, you know, those songs that pop up for no reason in your head are, you know, done by these little creature things and inside your, you know, where your memory banks are. And my, I swear in my, my brain is like that because I have the most random songs that will just pop into my head at any time of the day. Sometimes it's fun and sometimes it's highly annoying depending upon which song it is that did it, that's popped in, especially when they just sit around for a long time. It can be annoying. Right, so then we just need to finish the two. Just like right now, I'm hearing Renegade. We heard Renegade as we were going up. I, I don't remember who sings it, but we heard that song as we were going up, an old rock song. And uh, it's I, I like that song a lot, so I'm cool with that being stuck in my head. It's just kind of funny that it's there. comfy clothes on, wearing my red PJ bottoms today, if I could get away with wearing comfy clothes out in public I would, but usually my comfy clothes are a lot more colorful than what I would normally wear, so tis what it is, alright, I'm going to tie this off because I'm getting close to being, being done with that, so as to console, to be loved, as to, and then love is actually way over here. There's um, there's a more of a, a motif that goes kind of right here that I'm going to do later. Um, there's a motif that goes kind of right here that looks a lot like this. Um, it's going to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and um, continue with the text right through here. So, and again, we're still in Coco. Coco. I really do enjoy these stitch alongs though. I know some of you guys really seem to enjoy them too. Um, it could just be a lot of fun to hang out with someone and stitch. Okay, I'm gonna need to count, so I'm gonna have to focus. I'm sorry. One, one, two, three, four, I think. Off of this. One. goes to the dot of the eye. Oh, 
sorry, to the die of the receive. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh. Nope. It goes to the uh, yeah, eye of the receive. Ah. Oh. Phew. Scare me for a second there. Be like, oh, I've been doing this thing on the wrong half line this whole time. No. And we've gotten rid of like over half of the honey. It might even be like two thirds of the honey at this point. We have a bunch of people like put in pre-orders, which doesn't really work well. I mean, it only works well if we're like shipping it to them. But these are all people that live around here and that are, you know, friends and whatnot. And it was, um, you know, put it out there and be like, all right, guys, come on over, pick it up. And uh, a lot of people just haven't come by. And it's like, all right, I'm selling this on a first come first serve basis. And so you guys got to, if you want it, you got to get over here and get it. Because when it's gone, it's gone. Because we know sometimes how friends can be. We love them to death, but they can have good intentions. And then things change and then you end up with 10 pounds of honey that you can't get rid of because nobody wants it anymore. What am I doing? IT. I hope a nap is not in my future. It feels like it is. I hope it's not just that kind of day and we were up so early and we did a lot of physical work so we're I would be I'd be shocked if my husband wasn't sleeping on the couch downstairs because he definitely worked very hard this morning he did a really good job I think I'm one of those lucky people that my husband is very both very laid back and also very self-motivated and that I don't have to tell him not that I would want to you know, do this do that multiple times that kind of thing of course I'm pretty laid back too so I'm like oh I already talked to me I, had, I told you three months ago I mean it's fine I don't care if I need you to do something I See it again, but usually if it's something that I need him to do, he, he realizes that and does it right away. But it's still weird because it's just, you know, I I am, uh, I'm, uh, let's see, how old am I now? 45-ish? Yeah, something like that. And, um, which I'm shocked at that myself. And it's like, when did that happen? But, one, two, three... But we've only been together for, it'll be three years, <laughs> three years in uh, January. And uh, so when you've been single for that long, uh, you, you know, you kind of, you don't, it's, it's hard to ask somebody to do something because you're just not used to somebody being there to be able to do something. So, thankfully, we're both pretty laid back in the sense of, you know, we're like, hey, you know, we probably ought to clean. Yeah, sure, we probably ought to clean. And then what will end up happening is, is I'll do a big chunk while he's at work. And then, like, you know, when I'm gone for something, hanging out with somebody or whatever, he'll, uh, he'll get a chunk done as well and, on his end and... And then everything just kind of gets done, so. But. Most of the time, I'm cross-stitching. He's playing video games. We're both very happy with that arrangement. Because we do what, we're both doing what we want. He's such an enabler when it comes to uh, 
and not in a good way you know, when it comes to uh, my cross stitching because he's just you should get this you should get that you should talk about this and um, you know I just if I didn't have that kind of support I mean I certainly wouldn't be it was his idea for me to start doing videos and stuff I mean he saw me watching floss tube before and he's like you should do that and you know because he would actually sometimes watch him with me and it just you know we every single person does different things on floss tube it's just that's the awesomeness of cross stitching is that there is so much there's so much variety in what can be done that it's unusual to like I mean I don't even know if I've ever watched you know two videos that had similar stuff in it like you know everybody's well I mean there are some projects that every that a lot of people like like to work on but there's always a variety in the fabric use and sometimes people change the colors I say one of the patterns that if I had to name a pattern that I I really liked, but I'm probably never going to stitch, but absolutely love to see it, is that, um, the, it's the fabric that's the, um, dec is it the Declaration, Declaration of Independence fabric with the Our Lady Liberty or whatever on the front? That is so gorgeous. And, um, but I doubt I'll, uh, I doubt I'll ever do it. I mean, it's, it looks great, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like something that I would, actually do I'm not sure if I got that right let me go back again one two ah two three yeah I think that's about right of course it's hard for me to tell if it's one over from that yeah mm, yeah I think we'll see we'll find out here shortly I'm doing it right. I mean, that's the beauty of having a floss tube and whatnot. It's because you can live vicariously, stitch vicariously through another person. It's like, please do this because I, I, I can't do that. And I want you to do it so I don't have to do that. I've got so many things that I've aside I still want to do the Lincoln stuff the Abraham Lincoln stuff um, I had somebody I had a comment somebody asked me about the um, hold on a second um, hey guys I actually uh, camera cut off because uh, I didn't have enough memory on my phone which is funny uh, I thought I did but I need to go through and actually like uh, take off some of these videos and uh, do some different th do some different things. Obviously, I'll have to do that a little bit later after I edit stuff. But uh, anyway, so where I was when I got cut off was um, someone asked me about uh, I believe it was the rainy day in Boston piece. Um, and if it wasn't the rainy day in Boston piece, then it was the other one. That is the sort of the artsy nighttime New York City piece with the the subway going um, through the city, and um, that I love. And you know, I, I I just caught a glimpse of it. I haven't gone through and actually fully read the comment. I'm gonna do that once I start uploading this. But um, you know, I have so many projects that I just want to get to um, part of me wonders if if I should actually um, rotate oh I did that wrong see look at that it's pretty good I went that whole time without having a frog anything but now here I am having a frog it's okay but thankfully I caught it I caught it pretty early so nobody, nobody got harmed except for Mr. Froggy. Um, 
you know, I've got those. I got the Lincoln pieces. I've got the Gecko Rouge pieces. I've got Reaper. Um, oh man, so many different things that I need to, and I feel like I need to start adding in a few new things into the rotation just because of, for the sake of variety, but also for the sake of me continuing to be like excited about new things with my stuff. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I still have Renegade in my head. Oh, that's a good song. Hear the monsters downstairs now. I actually call my dogs Children of the Corn. And uh, usually there's a song that goes along with it. But, uh. I know I'm not gonna sing the song because right now I honestly can't remember the words. It's more of a spontaneous thing that happens depending upon what they've been doing that day. But, um. There's just so many of them, and I love them, but man, there's so many of them. Uh, all right, we're gonna go to pardoning next. So I'll make another count: one, two, three. Not along there, right along there. Rock and roll. All right. These stitch alongs go by so fast. I feel like I get a lot done, but okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, good deal. All right. I probably got about five minutes before I've got to probably stop and splice everything to get icy splice. If you're young enough, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Thinking about those very old, maybe celluloid film, the way they used to do manual cuts and splice things together. I mean, things have got to be so... Things are easier now, but then things are also hard because, you know, you couldn't adjust lighting and special effects and stuff before, but... I don't know. I think I think uh, editing would be a cool job to have a movie editor or something like that. It'd be pretty neat to be able to put put something together like that. Got to be pretty skilled. The P is coming to life. Well, that just sounds terrible, doesn't it? The letter P is coming to life. This is doing, this is doing good. I think I am trying to decide next week what the stitch along should be. Definitely want to go through the rotation. And uh, do something, yeah, maybe apothecary shop. I'm trying to think, did I do any Waterloo Play Shop? I have to go back. I don't think I have. I could do Apothecary Shop or I could do Rainy Waterloo Place. Rainy Waterloo would actually be, I'd get a lot done while I was working on that. I might, I think I would feel more comfortable with Apothecary Shop once I actually got the um, 
fabric a little bit softer right now. It's just still so difficult to deal with. Well, I say that like it's this big thing. It's really not, but... All right. I'm just going to finish up here a little bit and uh, go downstairs and watch that football game. Hope Georgia wins. Let me just finish up this A. Davies signing me out. Alright. I'm just going to put this out here and leave that there. So, I mean, that was pretty good, guys. I mean, you know, if you look at what I got done today, um, you know, I got that I got that little little console got finished. Um, loved as two. And then it is in, and it's just going to be pardoning. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got in an hour, I got all that done. So honestly, that's, that's actually pretty good. Um, I got to think that I'm going to actually hopefully do more on this piece later in the week, maybe put another hour in and start working on some of these motifs and get those in. But you know, it's getting close. Well, it's not getting close. I mean, it was halfway, almost halfway, I think, but, uh, it's definitely, you know, the direction, we're going in a good direction here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the stitch along. And uh, let me know if uh, there is something that you specifically want to see or have me talk about or or whatever. You know, this is time for, for all of us to just kind of hang out and, and do this. So take care. Happy stitching. Stay warm or stay cool, depending upon where you are. And I will see you this coming... Wednesday, Thursday for the next video. Thank you.